Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze, guys, and we'll show you if you have a code such as P0340, how to fix that, what is causing that code, and uh, we'll show you what we use to diagnose our uh, our car as well, guys. If you need any tools, parts that we use in our videos, guys, we have the links in the description of the video below. You can find uh, all kind of parts for your uh, Chevy Cruze there, guys for a good price and fast shipping. Quick introduction guys, we will have more than 200 videos on this car because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys, you will find the information helpful and it will help you solve your problem. So if you have that code, okay, P0340, you will notice that your, uh, okay, your engine light will be on. The car may not feel as responsive. The car may idle rough. It may take a while to start sometimes, especially on cold days, and you may notice increased fuel economy. This is guys because your engine will not be running 100% like it should. Why? Because your engine guys has variable timing, and this is one of the sensors that uh, reads the variable timing, timing, and if it's not working guys, it will be bad. I mean, it won't mess up your engine, but in the long run, it could cause damage. So. We're going to connect the scanner to the OBD port, okay, right here. This is the OBD port. Now, <coughs> let me go ahead and start the car. You may notice sometimes slow start, sometimes it starts immediately. This time it started pretty fast, sometimes a little bit slower. So, what I'm doing now, guys, okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect the scanner. And if you're on the market, guys, for a good scanner, definitely consider this one. Why? Because you can read and delete codes from the engine computer, ABS, traction control computer, airbag computer. You can do battery registration on multiple vehicles. You can do steering angle sensor calibration. Quite a few helpful, guys, functions. So, we'll connect to the engine computer now. It's going to take just a little bit of time, okay, to establish safe communication. We're going to click OK. Now, you have three different modules here. Usually we have the codes in the one that ends with A. Now, 8 right here. Now, check all of them, guys, for codes. Why? Because yours may be different. Click Read Codes. I always check my pending codes. Why? Because pending, you may get an extra code that can help you solve the problem. Okay, but that code hasn't been there for long enough time to activate the engine light on. So I would definitely guys recommend to check pending codes and stored codes as well. So ours, it says P0340, camshaft position sensor A, circuit bank 1. Okay, you can see all single sensor. So we'll go ahead guys, uh, turn the car off and we'll show you how we're going to fix that now. So now guys, it says a camshaft position sensor. What A stands for? A stands for intake camshaft, guys. Doesn't matter which engine you have, 1.8, 1.4, 1.6, the procedure is about the same, even I think on the diesel engine. So you have two camshafts, intake, exhaust. You need to locate where your exhaust is. This one will be your exhaust side. Intake is on the other side where your intake manifold and a few injectors are. Now, those are your camshaft position sensors. This is A, this is B. The one that we have the code for 340 is the one right here, guys. So, if you want to remove and replace it, we have the video on the channel that explains how to do that. The procedure is super simple, not complicated, and uh, check it out, guys. Definitely, definitely not, not very complicated at all. Uh, if you guys, okay, uh, if you want to see where we get our parts from, check it out, guys. We'll have the link in the description of the video below, guys. It will be there for your convenience, so check it out. Now, we'll go ahead and replace ours and see if that will take care of the problem. The, that's the purpose of today's video. If you want to see the replacement, we have it on the channel. So let's go ahead and replace it and see if it will fix the engine light on. So, I'm going to go on the inside. This thing has been replaced. Now, I'm going to go inside and we'll see, okay, what is causing that uh, okay that problem now Let's see if, if that's the only sensor that is causing all that trouble hopefully it is because it's not very complicated to replace and it's not very expensive too guys so we'll go back we'll click back erase codes yes erase that so now if i start the car Okay, the engine light shouldn't be on. So you can see, we're ready to go. 
So hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.